right there. Pops out right there. Surveillance cameras captured the moments a suspicious person crawled out of a drainage ditch, making his way to the South Austin Beer Garden. He was definitely looking for a place to hide, and who knows? Not knowing who this person was or where he came from, co-owner David Pierce says they weren't just about to let this man walk through their side entrance. Right away, my door guy cut him off, said, hey, how are you doing, bud? Are you okay? And he obviously looked distraught. The man seen in the video is identified as Paul Joseph Garcia Jr., suspected of being intoxicated and crashing into a pedestrian, killing them half a mile down Menchaca. While not knowing what had happened, Pierce says instinct and experience told him to keep Garcia calm and, more importantly, try to keep him there while they called police. Smart to keep him there, you know, instead of scaring him off. Further north, green spray paint along Menchaca tells the final moments of the person Garcia is charged with hitting, where the victim's shoe was found, and even their shopping cart. We had no idea what happened up the street, and when we found out, it definitely was like, wow. We just stopped that kid from running away from the cops. Police say the impact was strong enough for part of the victim's body to crash through the windshield and into the passenger seat. According to the affidavit, Garcia didn't stop after that initial crash. In fact, he kept going. So we're traveling along the route. It says he took in the report. We're passing along the point of impact right now. And here you can see homes, businesses all on our right. There's also a shoulder now. The speed limit in this section of Menchaca is 55 miles an hour. All in all, it takes us about a minute to where it says he finally pulled over and got out of his vehicle. He then walks even further down the road before ending up at the ditch in front of the South Austin Beer Garden. That distance is scary, which makes me feel like I don't understand that mind frame to be able to travel that distance without a response. Those who walk along Menchaca like Jonathan Escalon say this fatal crash is an eye-opener for just how vulnerable pedestrians are in the area as there isn't a complete sidewalk or many crosswalks. There's an extra shoulder in the road after here that is wide enough to feel safe, but it's still not ideal. Both Escalon and Pierce feel something needs to change along Menchaca before another person becomes another police marking on the road.